Hello, Sagittarius. Air signs have been showing all up all over the place for all the signs. So maybe air signs are dating again. So we have the King of Swords in the reverse position with the Five of Swords. Also in the reverse position. Two of Swords, lots of sword energy. Three of Swords, Nine of Cups. We have another Knight of Swords, Seven of Cups, Knight of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so first off, there's only really one direction to go with this reading because of all the sword energies. And sword energies indicates, you know, a, a very restless mind. And I do feel that for a lot of you, um, Sagittarius, once you have decided on something, you don't really look back. You make your mind you make up your mind what you want to do and you're going to move on. That is just the nature of fire signs in general. Earth signs are very, very slow to act. Air signs are also very decisive. Um, they act on it, but air signs will, you know, if, if someone hurts an air sign, they will cut them off. They will leave, but they deal with the, the heartache. And it takes them a really long time to overcome heartache. But when it comes to fire signs, fire signs bounce back very, very quickly. And I feel that with a lot of Sagittarius. Um, it's just a matter of getting yourself to that point where you make a decision. And once you get yourself to that point, we have the two of swords here in the reverse. Meaning a decision has been made. And as a result of it, you are going to move on and not look back. Okay? So despite having the... Um, Three of Swords coming out, which does indicate heartache. It does indicate um, possibly even betrayal, but I'm sensing separation as well. So this could be geographical distance between people. This can also be um, just the, the sheer, I guess, anxiety and worries that we're feeling when we are so far away from our significant other. It's that, um, that thing that, that tugs at our heartstrings, that makes it very difficult for us to really be in the present moment when you are missing somebody. I definitely feel that distance is being bridged for this month. And the, it could be the holiday seasons. That is bringing in, you know, um, people that you love, family, friends, and even significant other together, all right? But I definitely feel the distance is being bridged as a result of this Ace of Swords, which cuts through situations. And I do feel that that is one scenario that can play out for a lot of you. Um, another scenario that is coming through is a lot of you might be in a relationship with an air sign. So this is um, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, as in indicated by the King of Swords and also with the Knight of Swords. So this could be a person. They're both showing up in the reverse position. So this is, um, I feel, they've been around for quite some time. And there has always been, you know, trust issues associated with them. Okay trust issues and I do feel that it can come through from your end or from their end because I do sense you are showing up here in the middle of the spread um, somewhat blindfolded so I feel that for a lot of you you're making a decision to sever a relationship with an air sign and um, you're deciding to do that mainly because you realize the relationship is not working for you anymore but you still don't have all the information that you need. But at this point, you're just like, I'm going to cut my losses because it doesn't really matter anymore. Okay? Um, because I feel that with fire signs, it's not so much about, you know, what really happened. It's about, I've had it. You know, I, I, I don't want to be in it anymore. And I don't need the answers right now. So I'm just going to cut my losses and move on. With the air signs, on the other hand, Possibly the air signs that you're dealing with. Air signs always need answers. So even though, you know, ties were broken, uh, breakups have already occurred, if there were um, misunderstandings or if there were unanswered questions, they can't really move on. So what I'm sensing here is a situation where you might have separated, severed relationship with an air sign. 
and they're still bugging you, okay? Because I do feel them kind of cornering you because you're surrounded by two air signs here. And you don't really know what to do and you don't really, you're not happy about it. And you're, you're just pretty much fed up and you're just telling them, you know, I don't want to deal with you anymore. So let's just end things. I feel that they need answers. So maybe that will shed some light on uh, why they are coming back and why they're so pesky. Because they really need answers. Air signs need to know exactly what transpired in the relationship. And more than anything, they need to, to know things from your perspective and why you decided to take a certain course of action. Once they have that understanding, I feel that they will leave you alone. Okay, So that's an, one thing that um, I'm sensing. For others of you, this might just be... Um, Okay, so I'm getting this message specifically for women, okay? And um, it has nothing to do with gender, but I do feel that just for women in general. Well, let's see. Yeah, women. If you are in a work environment and you feel that there is... Um, it's funny, I was getting this for Leos too. If you feel that there is um, unfair treatment, or if you feel like... Um, if you're, you're hanging out with friends, just be very careful this month. If you're hanging out with new people, so for example, if you're a woman and you're hanging out with new people that are mainly men and you don't know them very well, just be very careful. Don't uh, try to be alone with them, especially if you're out drinking too soon because I do feel a little bit of harassment coming through, especially for women. Um... If you're in the presence of men that you don't really know well, just, you know, limit your alcohol intake, okay? Because I do sense that um, they might not mean well, so just be careful about that. And that's just a sensible thing to do overall. So if this is something that, um, if you're dealing with like harassment or something like that, especially with people that are, are your acquaintances or people that you work with, this is a situation that is going to come to light for this month and you're going to have to either speak your truth so that they're exposed or you're going to have to prevent, you know, prevent um, the si situations from escalating. All right, so just be very mindful about this this month because I do feel no matter what decisions you've made, no matter what choices you've made, I feel like there's still a, a discomfort in not having all the information and as a result of it, you might not make the best, well, not not that you won't make the best decision. If it's a love relationship and it hasn't worked and you're moving on, that's the best decision. But when it comes to other things, such as career opportunities, such as whether or not to take this job, you know, between these three people who I should, um, who I should date, for example, you might not have all the information that you need until the very end of the month. When this Ace of Swords come through, that's like the illumination. Um, this is actually coming through on the 15th, but you're still dealing with some troubling residual energy. So true options are not going to be available to you until the end of this month. For those of you who are in relationships, not with an air sign, but with a, a water sign, this is definitely somebody that you feel is kind of like your knight in shining armor. Okay, so the, the water signs are Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and I do feel that they're coming through and they're going to provide a lot of opportunities for healing, okay? They're also providing you with a lot of love and affection and it's basically uh, whatever you've conjured up as your ideal type, your ideal person, whatever you've conjured up is being manifested in, in real life. So this is like the, it can be male or female, depending on your sexual orientation. But I do feel that this is a person that you can see yourself building a future with. We have the Three of Pentacles here, and also the Ace of Swords. So whatever situation that you've dealt with in the past, you have higher, a lot higher expectations. And you feel as if these expectations are unfounded because you feel like no one can meet your expectations. But I, I'm... I'm going to go out on a limb here and just say that there is somebody coming through that is going to provide you with a lot of love and affection. And they're not going to be lazy about showing you how much 
you mean to them. So there's definitely a breakthrough that is going to provide a lot of healing for you. But at the same time, the healing has to take place internally. You have to believe that you are worth it. You have to also believe that um, no matter what happened with past relationships, you are worthy of love and you are also deserving of you know, equal treatment. Whatever you put in, the other person needs to reciprocate. So this is just the, the rule of balance in the universe, okay? Things need to be balanced. And that's what you're going to realize by the end of this month as well, that there is a person coming through that you can build a future with, okay? And both sides are working at it, I feel. Um, additionally, I'm not getting such a work-focused vibe in this environment, but I do feel that for those of you who have co-workers, I do feel it is going to be a little bit, who've had problems with co-workers. I do feel it's going to be an annoying, like, you know, first three weeks of November, mainly because it's a busy energy. There's a lot of mental, uh, communi well, mental exchanges, like a lot of collaboration. Um, for some reason, if you're working with a lot of people, they're not really holding up their weight. They're not holding up their end of the bargain. So they might like leave projects unfinished. A lot of people might be traveling and you have to step in to take care of their workload is what I'm sensing. So it's a little bit annoying on the work front. But by the, 20, the 20th, the 23rd or so, the situation is going to turn around where you have time for leisure, where, you know, people are where they're supposed to be. And you, so, if, you know, if you're single, get out there and date. Um, by the 21st or so, the sun is going to be in your sign. And when the sun is in our sign, our respective signs, that's when we shine the brightest, okay? And that's when, like, all of our good attributes come out. So I do feel that, you know, save yourself some time to date by the 20th, 21st or so. You're going to make um, quite a splash on the social scene, all right?